Today is International Fascination of Plants Day and this is a well chosen moment because uh, nature and plants around us are growing and blooming and uh, that, that gives us a very nice start of the new year of course. So this day, Fascination of Plants Day, is also very important to show how interesting and how important plants are. And what a better place than this chair here where we see all these vegetables and fruits and, and flowers that uh, make us so happy and provide us the food of course and uh, I will tell you a bit more about that in a minute. So my name is Guido van der Akkerveke, I'm professor in plant biology at Utrecht University where we teach biology and also students can follow the track plant biology. And all these crops that you see here they are wonderful and you they are the result of, of thousands of years of selection and breeding actually agriculture some 12,000 years ago started off by selecting for specific plants that were then developed into crops and later on by making crosses and doing genetics and uh, new technologies we are now able to breed these these fantastic crops so you think uh, that we are ready, but that's not the case. There is a big challenge ahead in uh, providing these uh, crops with new traits so that they are more robust and more resilient, especially to uh, climate, uh, climatic changes that are occurring now. And uh, this is a big challenge. So the food that is so important to us, it provides energy, minerals, vitamins, and other compounds that are very uh, good for our health. Actually, food and vegetable fruit is actually very important uh, uh, basis for our health, of course. So, let me tell you a bit about the role of plant biology in this sense. So, to, to make future crops available and uh, to help generate them, we, uh, we need a lot of knowledge. And this is where plant biology research comes in. And we are especially interested in Utrecht, at Utrecht University, where we have our research in how plants cope with environmental stress. And this is, for instance, uh, changing climate conditions such as heat or drought, but also uh, pathogen stress. And uh, we want to understand how plants can sense these uh, environmental conditions and how they then respond to be more resilient and better protected against uh, all these conditions. Well, in Utrecht we, uh, for instance, work on bacteria in the soil that help the roots to develop further uh, so that the plant grows better, but also those same bacteria can boost the immune system of the plant and make it better protected against diseases. On the other hand, we also work on uh, understanding what makes a plant susceptible to disease and how can we learn from that to generate resistant crop varieties. And this brings me then to uh, the next uh, topic that is of interest and that is how we translate this knowledge to application. And in the Netherlands we do this uh, in a very good way. There is a close collaboration between universities and uh, companies, for instance in the plant breeding sector, to utilize this knowledge that is generated and implement that in the breeding program. So in that sense it's clear that plant biology is very important in co contributing to sustainability, to sustainable agriculture and food production, so that we can provide uh, uh, mankind with enough safe and healthy food uh, for this growing world population. So in short, plant biology fascinating. See you!